Hello everyone, my name is Li Hao. Today I want to talk about something as important as making a site cooler with decorative animations or transitions. Because some users outright experience motion sickness when faced with parallax scrolling, zooming effects, and so on. I mean, vestibular disorders reactions include dizziness, nausea, and migraine headaches. So today, I'm going to share with you some techniques on creating an open and inclusive Svelte app. We're going to continue on this to-do list app, which we added some transitions such as fade, slide, and blur when adding a new item. Many operating systems have accessibility settings for specifying a preference for reduced motion. On the web, we can use media query such as prefers reduced motion which was introduced in a media query level 5 to detect if the user has set an operating system preference to minimize the amount of animation or motion. So now, we are going to take a look at how we can utilize that. Firstly, Svelte's transitions or animations depends on the CSS animation. So we can use a media query to disable or set the duration of that animation to be zero. So right over here, I'm going to add media, prefers reduced motion to reduce. So there's two values that you can provide for this media query, sorry for the typo, which is reduce or unspecified. So if the user chose to prefers a reduced motion, then we can target the element that has animation or transition and add animation duration to be zero seconds. And we set it to important so that it always has the highest priority. Right, I'm using a star over here because I'm gonna target all elements, but you can do that for, in this example would be div, you can do it to div only as well. So it depends on your use case, you can use a star to so target all the elements in, in this component, or you can target specific elements in the component. So let's, let's try that out. Right now, if we click on this button, it has um, a transition. To emulate prefers reduced motion on Chrome, you can go for the Chrome DevTools and then search for rendering. Over here, there is this emulate CSS media feature prefers reduced motion. So if we choose prefers reduced motion to reduce, and let's try to close this list and try to open it again. Now you realize that there's no any transitions for this uh, container, right? Although there's still transitions for the item, that's because we are using a list items instead of a div. So over here, we're going to add list. And now the item itself does not have any transition. So you try, if you try to open the list, you may realize that there is some delay on the item showing up on the screen, right? So we, when we use CSS solution to disable animation duration, we're disabling how long it takes for that animation. But in this case, we still have a delay when the item is showing up on the screen. So we need a JavaScript solution so that we can pass a different delay for the transition over here. So the delay right now is based on list shown zero or 400 plus index times 300. So we need to add another condition over here where if the user prefers reduced motion and that's what we are going to do now. So over here, we're going to have Cons media query equals to window dot match media prefers reduce motion to reduce and the value where it matches or not would be media query dot matches. Right. So this will be computed 
at the very beginning of your components. Um, depending on the user, which I think is unlikely, but there may be user like us where we try to switch between reduce and no emulsion back to reduce. So if you want to check that as well, you want to constantly update these variable matches, you can use media query dot add event listeners. change and you can update the value of matches equals the media query dot matches right in that way the matches will always uh, ref reflects the latest um, CSS prefers reduced motion right so the user may go onto the uh, system operating system settings and change it and you want that to reflect on your Svelte component immediately, then you would have to listen to any media query changes for this prefers reduced motion. And now we know that whether it matches or not to this uh, media query. So if it matches, which means that the user opted to reduce the motion, then we are going to pass this in as a duration condition for the duration. Right, so I'm going to add here our matches. Then if I click now, there's no more de delay for this item to come out on the screen. Right. Another alternative that if you don't like to pass in a delay or duration for each of the transitions, depending on whether the user opted a reduced motion, what we can do here is that we can create a custom transition. Right. So I will talk a bit more on tra custom transitions later on, but over here, a custom transition is none other than a function that returns an object that describes how your transition works. Over here, we can pass, we can return a delay of zero and duration of zero. So meaning this custom transition is actually no transition, right? Uh, you can still pass into the transition directive, but itself has no effect at all because it has no, it has no duration, it has no delay. It just happens immediately. Right? What we can use here is that we can use this no transition and then we can have what we call a reduce fly is equals to whether we matches the user preference for reduce motion. If it, if it does, we will return a no transition or else we will return a fly transition from the Svelte transition, right? So we can use this reduce fly instead of the built-in fly. This way, this reduce fly will have no effect at all. We don't have to use a custom delay and whatnot. And this itself will be a no transition if the user opted for a reduced motion and it will be back to a normal fly transition if the user didn't specify any preference. All right, so let's try it again. It works. And that's all. So we have seen how we can use uh, CSS solutions to have to stop all durations. That would be one way of doing things. We also see how we can use JavaScript with match media query. And we use that to have a custom transitions or we use that to set like the delay or duration to be zero. Once again, I believe that web should be an open place for everyone. And we as a developer should take responsibility to build an open and inclusive web and app for everyone. Thank you. So thank you for staying till the end. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to stay notified with my next video, please hit the subscribe button down below. As always, stay safe and well. See you next time.